If this video gets to 500 likes, I will host a big FNAF theory stream where myself, some of you, and some big FNAF YouTubers will turn up and we'll discuss FNAF. So make sure you like the video if you enjoy it, and of course, please subscribe. All of that really, really helps me. So thank you so much for supporting me. Let's get straight into the video. What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to March. Now, Steel Wolf Studios said that they would update Security Breach back in February, but unfortunately, uh, wait, they did update it in February, the 28th of February, but that's still February. Yeah, that's right, update 1.05 has come out and it has, uh, it's, it's got a lot of good things in it, I think. It's got some bug fixes, it's got a save station, for the 6 a.m. the, the post-game essentially, uh, which is really good. It's something that a lot of people wanted. Uh, it's got a lot lower storage size, um, so it's been optimized a lot. That has included like deleting a lot of the background content that doesn't appear in the game, and uh, better quality graphics. So I, I, I'm actually a big fan of this update. I think they've done really well. There's still a lot of things they can improve about Security Breach, but it's good that they have started and they haven't just gone straight into a DLC, which is gonna be the same sort of thing, kind of a lot of different bugs to be fixed and uh, a lot of issues that are, are there. But there is one thing that has changed, which, um, well, a lot of fans are unhappy about because apparently it changes the entire law of Security Breach. Or not the entire law, but a part of the law. So, if you haven't seen my first video on Princess Quest and you haven't seen Matt Pat's video on Princess Quest, uh, firstly, watch my video because I, I spent a lot of time on it. It's one of the best videos on my channel, in my personal opinion. And part of that is because the theory is just so good. It all connects together and it is so nice. So to dissect it quickly, Princess Quest is the story of Cassidy during her trying times as the spirit of a missing child from her death with the other kids, her torture of Afton with old man consequences and her accidental import into VR. Ultimately stopping Glitchtrap, saving Vanessa for the game's best ending. And the biggest piece of evidence for this, I, I think, and there were a lot of different parts of the story that really connected here, uh, but one of the biggest things that kind of brought me to this opinion and a lot of other people is the fact that in the game files, the name for the princess was Cassidy, which is really obvious, right? Like, why would they name the princess sprite Cassidy unless Cassidy was the princess? It wouldn't be a red herring. It's in the game files, it's there for us to find, and it, it's really telling. And the story just fits. I mean, before, I believe in VR, the princess's name was just Princess, uh, and we all believed it was Vanessa, but then kind of Princess Quest 2 came out, Princess Quest 3 came out in Security Breach, and now it, our opinions have changed. I don't think it's Vanessa anymore. I truly believe it's Cassidy, mainly because of Princess Quest 3, where we essentially save Vanessa, we take away the items uh, and, and stuff. It's it's difficult to explain, like there are a lot of parts of the theory that are still kind of there and not quite pushing over, like I'm not, I'm still not 100% about Cassidy, I'd say I'm 98% sure about Cassidy, but there are still a few parts that need to be filled in. But I don't think it's Vanessa, which is weird because now in this update, update 1.05, the princess's name is now just Princess. So what does this mean? It's changed from Cassidy to Princess. Does that change the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't think so. I would be really upset, actually, if they just straight up changed the lore. It could be that Cassidy was never supposed to be the princess in the first place, but in my opinion, why was the princess ever called Cassidy then? Like, it all makes sense. Even the fact that the old man is there, like, old man, it's the same kind of colours as old man consequences, it takes place in the lake, I mean, old the old man tells someone to go to sleep or something, like, it, it all just fits so perfectly if the princess is Cassidy. And there's always going to be non-believers of multiple theories, and if you don't believe that Cassidy is the princess, that's completely fine too, that's valid. 
I'm just trying to argue a point here because I really, really believe that Cassidy is the princess and I don't think you could convince me otherwise. Even now that Cassidy is no longer the file name of the princess, like it's, it's still, it, that doesn't change much. I think a lot of people are saying, like, like a lot of people are using this as evidence for Cassidy not being the princess and it's fine if you don't want Cassidy to come back but you have to accept kind of that all of these characters, all these animatronics are coming back just so that the story can continue, uh, which isn't great but you have to accept it. Really I think, okay, the good evidence for Cassidy not being the princess would be if the Cassidy file name changed from Cassidy to Vanessa for example. Now Cassidy is just princess. That doesn't really change much because we already knew that Cassidy was the princess and now the princess is the princess which makes sense obviously. Like it doesn't change anything really lore wise. It still makes sense that the princess is called princess uh, but it's not specifically called Cassidy anymore. Like it, uh, it's so difficult to kind of articulate why I believe this but it it also feels so obvious, right? Like, it was called Cassidy, therefore the Princess Cassidy. Like, it, it wouldn't be a red herring, They, I don't think they would do that. I know the lore is complex, and I know there's a lot of different aspects that you have to pick apart from others, and kind of a lot that you have to ignore, but I, I really do think that because the princess was called Cassidy, that that is what it is. Maybe they changed it for people looking in the files like so that they're, they're not confused by by oh there's a Cassidy here like w where is the Cassidy sprite uh now they're like oh it's a princess sprite that's from princess quest like it's just to not overcomplicate things in the files maybe I don't know I want you guys to tell me what you think about all of this because this is obviously quite controversial right now I still think a hundred percent or sorry, 98% that Cassidy is the princess and I'm, I'm pretty sure on that. But um, it's kind of weird that they changed the name there. So um, again, yeah, tell me what you think about that. Do you agree with me? Do you believe that the princess is someone else? Um, if so, tell me your theories in the comments and uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video so that we can do the theory stream and uh, I will see you maybe then. <laughs> I've been Ozone, but I have to go Ozone. Goodbye.